Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. Um, I'm kind of doing a new thing, well, yeah, another new thing uh, called My Favourite Movies, where I talk about one of my favourite movies. Um, so this is the first one. I did a review of a film called The Wolf of Snow Hollow the other day, which is a new film by Jim Cummings, written, directed and starring the man himself. Um, and I mentioned in his previous film, Thunder Road, which was his debut feature. Um, and that is the film I'd like to talk about today. I watched it for the third time yesterday. I only watched it for the first time a few months ago during the lockdown. Um, so it really uh, actually it, it annoyed me at first because I fell asleep whilst watching it, which isn't a knock on the film. I just started watching it far too late. Um, and I watched it in kind of two halves, which I hate to do. I, I like to watch a film in one go. But, you know, sometimes you watch them late at night. I'm in my mid-30s now, my late 20s now. So it's... Um, it was frustrating. I fell asleep and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to pick up in the morning. But I watched it again, like I say, a bit later on. And I really, really love it. I think it is definitely going to be one of my favourite films. Um, it is on Netflix. It came out 2018. It's not a big film. It's an indie film, very much so. I think the budget was $150,000, which is, I mean, these days is almost nothing. Like I don't know how they managed to make such a, a great looking movie on you know that amount of money as well. I mean, I know that's a lot of money. It's ridiculous when you talk about film budgets like... I talk about $150,000 like it's a small amount of money, but that's, you know, that's a fortune to most people, especially myself. Um, but yeah, it's uh, in film terms, obviously it's not really that much, but um, I think the original Evil Dead was made for $150,000 back in 81. So it's, uh, yeah, um, for a film to be made on that much money now and be a wide release film is pretty good. Like not wide release cinema wise, but you know, it's, it's Netflix and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a really well regarded and well received film and i think for me the strength of it is jim cummings like when his say when his new film came out the wolf of snow hollow i immediately sort it out and bought it um because i i had such a high opinion of him for his previous film um and it's basically uh, it's it's billed as a comedy but it's kind of you could easily see it as not being a comedy as well and not that it's not funny because it is but it's a very serious subject matter and it's just it's literally a man having what you would say is a nervous breakdown I guess and it's just he's dealing with a lot of issues in his life and it's just kind of him gradually sort of cracking at the seams which doesn't sound that funny but it's such a spirited animated performance that you you laugh but you know you kind of it's quite powerful as well um the opening scene which originally was a short film so I think Jim Cummins has been making short films and that kind of thing and producing like a, a work for a fair while now um but they took, they made a bunch of short films and took this one and made it into a feature. I think it did well at like Sundance Festival and stuff like that. Um, and the opening scene is what the short film was. And it's just this incredible one take. Um, I think they did about 12 different takes and had different, slight, slight differences. I think he like rehearsed it for a month. And it's just him at his mother's funeral, just basically kind of breaking, breaking down in front of everyone. But it, it forms this... Um, like a dance to um, Bruce Springsteen's Thunder Road, which is where the, the film takes its name from. Like the themes in the film uh, mirror the themes in the song. Um, and he explains that at the start and how it was his mum's favourite song. And um, But he can't get the stereo to work, so he kind of does the dance himself. And someone's filming on their phone, which is a problematic later in the film. And he just kind of, yeah, it's just him not particularly having a good time because he's going through a divorce. He has a difficult relationship with his daughter who doesn't really seem to think that highly of him. She's a young teen, but like she's just kind of a bit, you know, she doesn't really like her dad that much for no particular reason. He's not he's not a bad guy at all. Um, but yeah, but um, it's yeah, it's just kind of you see him at work. He's a, say, he's a police officer and he kind of isn't supposed to be working like the week of his mother's funeral but and then he does kind of crack on the job a little bit as well but it's it is all for me i mean the supporting cast is really good like they're, they're probably not you know particularly well-known actors then they're, they're not probably not too experienced especially the young girl in it who's literally a child you know she's but she's really good um but yeah if it's for me it's on the strength of the main performance and like for for a debut feature of writing directing and acting it's really really impressive um and I say it clocks in at a, a tight 90 minutes as well, which is absolutely perfect. There's, I mean, most films could do with being 90 minutes, I think. Um, but this doesn't doesn't waste anything. And I think it's it's, it's some, some pretty heavy subject matter, but I find it very uplifting ultimately. And I, I think about it a lot. That's why I've watched it so many times in a short space of time, because it's I find it really moving and really profound. And I, I really like it. Like I say, it's 
mainly on the strength of that sort of lead performance and it's sympathetic but kind of um kind of you you know yeah it's like I say you're sympathetic but you feel like you feel attached to it and that kind of thing as well so i'd really recommend it it's called thunder road i, I need somebody else to watch it so i can talk to someone about it because no one else i know has watched it or even heard of it and it's quite frustrating to be honest but um that's on netflix um uk i don't know if that's overseas i'm sure it is um 90 minutes long and i really like it and i'll i'll say i watch it a lot i've got a poster on my wall of it that i showed in my um, wolf of snow hollow video um but yeah i would highly recommend it if you watch it and you don't like it just don't tell me and we'll still be friends so yeah that's cool um yeah hope you enjoyed this video um i'll probably do more of these where i just talk about my favorite movies um i don't really plan for it i just kind of talk and what i like about it which is cool we need more of that right um yeah please leave a like subscribe if you wish i would really appreciate it it'll be very cool um i do plenty of movies uh, plenty of videos about movies tv comics action figures what have you so Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.